Hello there, Chester here, back with another book review. Today we look back at The Traveling Vampire Show written by Richard Lehman. I will first read the synopsis, then we will delve into the book. Strap in because this is going to be a long one. Okay, so here's the synopsis. Through gloomy clouds, it is a hot August morning in the summer of 1963. All over the rural town of Granville, tacked to power poles and trees, taped to store windows, blowing along the sidewalks, flyers have appeared announcing the mysterious one-night-only performance of the Traveling Vampire Show. The show will feature Valeria, the only known vampire in captivity. According to the flyers, she is a gorgeous, stunning beauty. In the course of the performance, she will stalk volunteers from the audience, sink her teeth into their necks, and drink their blood. For three local teenagers who see the flyers, this is a show they don't want to miss. But they may have to. Though they can probably scrape up the price of admissions, other obstacles stand in their way. One problem, nobody under 18 years of age is allowed into the show. Dwight, Rusty, and Slim are only 16. Another problem, the show begins at midnight, and the three teens always have to be home by then. If that weren't bad enough, the show is to take place at Jenks Field, a desolate patch of ground with a nasty history that has been declared off-limits by their parents. The situation appears hopeless. Though Dwight and his friends fear they won't be able to attend the actual performance of the Traveling Vampire Show, they do have the entire day to themselves. Why not hike out to Jenks Field and take a look around? With any luck, they might be able to watch the crew make preparations for tonight's performance. If they're really lucky, maybe they'll get a peek at Valeria, the gorgeous vampire. And so three friends set off on foot to Jenks Field. Dwight is a solid, honest kid, long on common sense and loyalty to his friends. He always tries to do what's right. Rusty is a husky guy who relishes trouble. Slim, their longtime pal, is the brains of the outfit, a voracious reader of novels, an aspiring writer, and a girl. Also, she is sometimes too brave for her own good. So, what did I rate Richard Lehman's coming-of-age vampire tale? Well, I gave it five frickin' stars. It was a wild ride. Dwight, the main character, was a great narrator through this story. And his friends, Rusty and Slim, were so much fun to follow around. Bitsy was cute and at times annoying, but I even liked her. There are some great mysteries going in this story and that lead to a satisfying, shocking conclusion that will leave you awestruck. Lehman, in his perverse writing style, pens a really realistic and relatable character in Dwight and actually does a really good job with character development in the story. Slim was by far my favorite character in this story, and by far my favorite female character in any story I've read up to this point. The shenanigans leading to the Traveling Vampire Show are enjoyable and will have you reminiscing on your childhood. I love the old feel the book gives off as well, and there's no wondering why this is a favorite of mine. So, this has been a Chester review. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, consider giving it a like. If you really liked the video, consider sharing with a friend. I'm Chester here at Chester Reviews. I hope you have a great day. Peace out, guys.